Hey guys, welcome back to Buzz Basket. In this video, I'll be reviewing the latest film Sufiyum Sujatiyum, which was released today on Amazon Prime Video. It's a Malayalam drama starring Dev Mohan, Aditi Rao Haidari, and Jay Surya as the main leads. Many of the South audience knew about Aditi Rao Haidari quite a bit, at least I think. She became popular in Telugu with some Mohanam. That's a feel good one. Watch it if you haven't yet. Coming to this film, I can't talk too much about the pre-release trailers or teasers about this film, and uh, because I didn't watch them, and I also came to know about the film's release just yesterday. So with no lags, let's quickly jump into the review, starting with the plot. Sufi is a Muslim guy. One morning he goes to the Jinn mosque and calls for a morning prayer in which he passes away. And this news go to Sujata, who's married to Dr. Rajiv, living in Dubai. Sufi and Sujata love each other and they have a past. And due to religious problems, their love couldn't succeed. Talking about the positives of the film, I liked Aditi's performance in this film. She played the character of a mute innocent girl really well. Her screen presence too would be a good watch. I won't say that she is the highlight of the film because in the first half time of the film she got more screen space but in the second half time there is not much to say about her. Also the cinematography was quite good. Those were the positives and getting to the negatives of the film I have a bunch of them. Firstly I would say the film is utterly predictable. It also had a really thin storyline, very very routine plot I would say. I also didn't emotionally connect to this film in any way. See, the boy and the girl loved each other, but their bond or pure love was not established properly on screen. When we watch a love story, we at least expect some showcasing of love between the boy and the girl, but I literally did notice any of them. And with a thin storyline, this was really dragged on screen. I also expected at least a small conflict in the climax, but it also went in the same way I thought before. The direction, screenplay, and narration were the major minus points of the film. Anyways, that's it for my review on this film, and I would rate this film one out of five. That's it for the review, guys. Hope you liked it. Thumbs up if you did so, and if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, press the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video.